everyone! So for today's video, we are going to talk about how to create Facebook ads. So what do we need first in order to set up a Facebook page? First, of course, we need to have a Facebook profile. And then a specific Facebook page where you will set up the ads. So let's assume we were able to create a Facebook page. Don't worry, it's easy to create a page. Uh, just follow the step-by-step -step procedure and you're all set. For this tutorial, we were going to use the Facebook page, etc. There are already existing posts in this page which we are going to use in boosting or creating the specific ad. So, let's go to Ad Center and then you will see the tab Create Ad, Overview, All Ads, and Audience. So, just click the Create Ad. After clicking it, this window will show up. These are the options that you can choose to grow your business. Uh, either you choose to boost a post, a certain post, or to promote your page. You can also boost an Instagram post which is linked in your Facebook business page. And then you can also get more website visitors in case you have a specific website associated with this page. And then you can also choose to get more messages. And you can also choose to get more leads. Normally, this is uh, for real estate. Basically, you need to know or you should consider your target audience in order to choose which would be the most effective among these strategies. So let's try first to create more leads as it is the recommended one. So you can see here, create a form wherein there are details that you can use or you actually need such as customer information, their email, phone name, or you can even ask for their phone number. Also, you can collect other information such as date of birth, gender, their company name, and job title. This is in order to drill down the specific information that we need in order to get clients or the customers that we are targeting. You can even create a question that can be answered by your target audience. So you can see here the format that your target audience would see in your ad. Let's say we are going to ask the potential customers if they are interested to buy a rechargeable mini fan. A rechargeable solar mini fan. We can also add another question such as how much are they willing to buy for the product so we are going to cancel this ad because this is only for example purposes so just cancel so let's assume that you were able to create a successful ad you can see it under the overview tab and then advertising summary okay let's create another example of ad Let's choose the boost post. Uh, this is a specific post 
that we have already in the page we will just boost it then we can either choose uh, to get more people to watch your video or we can connect and chat with our potential customers so here you go this would be the look of the post that your potential customers will see on their desktop news feed so we are going to use or we are going to choose the connect and chat with potential customers so let's just put the caption as is so for the message uh, you can either choose to receive messages in your messenger or whatsapp so we choose to receive it via messenger then here is the mobile news feed view of the post that we recently created and then we can now proceed with the audience targeting so here we can choose the location the gender of our target audience so either male or female so let's choose uh, both and then the age uh, let's say 18 to 65 and then for the location uh, let's choose to have it san pablo city under calabarzon area And then you can see here that we have a potential audience up to 230,000 people. So we can drill it down. Let's say change the age bracket to 25 to 55. So here, you can see that it decreased from 200,000 plus into 130,000 people. Next, we can add detailed targeting. So we can include specific demographics or interests or behavior of our target audience. So let's say, let's include people who loves to shop online so online shopping or shopping online what else okay let's just save it and then check the duration and budget so let's just try it for let's say 500 so basically uh you can put your budget depending on your days and of course the total amount of the budget that you are willing to spend so since this is a trial let's just say uh, we are going to spend a hundred pesos. So I just noticed that when you drill down the target audience, 
the amount that you need to spend is much higher compared to a general targeting. So from here, you can see that uh, for the specific target, we need to spend at least around 52 pesos per target. So let's adjust the budget. Okay. So once we are already done with the budgeting or the setting up of our total budget, we can click the boost button so we can proceed. So what do we need to do is, uh, of course, we need to set up our payment details. So what you need to do is uh, you have to input your card details your payment details uh, it can be visa or mastercard so you can try to use your credit card or paypal or even gcash and paymaya so since i have already set up my payment details uh, once we finalize this we just need to click the boost button and then it will automatically be submitted for approval and then you will receive a notification that your ad has been approved so okay so let's click the boost button so we are now submitting this uh, ad So, okay, we have already set it up. So, as I said earlier, in the overview tab, you will see the results of the ads that you made. So, right now, since we were able to create an ad, you can see here. So, for now, it is currently in review. I will let you know once it has been approved and then I'll show you the results afterwards. Now let me show you the mobile view. The ad has been approved and you will see that the results are here. We have reached 158 people and then there are already 18 views and also we have received some inquiries with regards to the product and that is how you create facebook ads i hope you learned something from me today until next video thank you